Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel 8 tutorial. Today we will learn about Eloquent one-to-one -one relationships in Laravel. Laravel provides Eloquent ORM. ORM is basically object relation mapping which lets you query and manipulate data from database using object-oriented parallelism. So it provides a beautiful and simple active record implementation for working with your database. Each database table has a corresponding model. So here you can see there is a model, suppose a student model, and there is a database, suppose students. So if you check out database, you can see there is a model that is students. So here uh, the student model is for students table. So for Laravel one-to-one -one eloquent relations, there will include the two tables and both tables should have the common relations means one of the tables primary key should be used from another table foreign key. So here I have the student table. Suppose I am going to create another model and with the model I am going to create another table. So I will create the migration model. Suppose I am going to create a phone table which have the relations between the students. So let's create a model. So to create a model, we need to use PHP artisan make model. And suppose my model name is phone. And I am going to create a migration file along with this. So I am using the minus m with this. So here we can see a migration file is created. So if we check our directory, we can see the new migration is created that is create phone tables. So I am going to modify the create functions. So here you can see the create forms. So if you migrate this file, a new forms table will be created. So let's configure this. So I am going to add the phone. So here we need to use the table string. Suppose the column name is phone. And I need to use the student ID here. So here the student ID will basically the primary key from students table. So I will add this. So I am using the big integer. And I am providing the column name is student ID. And I am using the unsigned here. And uh, after there the timestamps and let's create the relations. So here I will need to use the table foreign and I am using the student ID is the references of ID from student table. So we need to use on students so name of the table is suppose students just copy it from here and I'm using the cascading so I will use on delete cascade so my phone table structure is ready so let's migrate this so to migrate we need to use the PHP addition migrate so PHP addition migrate. So here our phone table is migrated successfully. And if you refresh our tutorial database, we will get the phone table here. So here you can see the ID phone, student ID, creator ID, and updated. So here you can see the it is a foreign key from the student table. So if we check the student table. So here is my student table. So basically this ID is references the student ID from phones table. So now add the relation to the model. So here is my model that is phone. So just create a relation. So here we need to use the table name. So here we we'll use the protected dollar table and the name of the table is suppose the phones table. So just copy from here and write down with this. So and we need to use the relations. So I am creating a function that is public function uh, student. 
so return this belongs to we need to use the belongs to here and we need to provide the path of the model so here my model path is app models and the name of the model suppose the name of the model is student so and we need to create a relation in the student model also so in student model just create a function suppose the public function phone and use the return this has one so here we has one and in the same way we need to provide the path of the model so app models and we need to use the phone so the phone model and student model relationship is done so let's create a function and call this method so we can see what happened here we need to create a function to add some data into these tables so first create some data so we will create a function that is public function add data so I need to use the phone model here so we'll just use the phone model just like student so I am writing here the phone and and we need to use the dollar phone and creating a new phone and I'm adding the phone and the phone column name so we have my column name is also phone so phone equal to suppose I am providing so 987654321 whatever you want so I'm just adding the phone and so in the same way we will add the data to the student table so I'm using the student variable here so use the new and uh, we'll use the student model to insert data so just use the student variable to access the student model so here I will use the student name just like the student table name email so name suppose I am providing John and suppose I am going to add the email for John suppose I am using John at the rate email dot com and now save this so I am saving and we need to save the phone data also so we need to use student and after that we will call phone phone function which I have created so here the phone function we need to call this function and use the save and when you save we will use the phone variable so which I have added to add the phone so here so all is complete and here I have been printing suppose data inserted successfully so let's use the route to call this function so here my route so here I can use that is route and we'll use the gate method here and here suppose I am using the add student and I need to add the controller name so same like here so I'm just copying it from previous and paste it here and we need to change the method name so my method name is add data and I'm providing name suppose the name is student dot add so the all are set so if we run this app student you will hear we'll get the output mm -hmm. and before that we need to run our project so we need to use the php artisan sir and go to that url insert data so i'm using the app student so you can see the data inserted successfully and if you check our database so here you can see in browse so here my student table have the john john at the gmail.com 
and its ID is 11 and if we check on the phones table we will get the records for phones so here the phone for student is 11 and if we want to create the another record so here we can write suppose Johnny and I am providing the name Johnny and suppose I am changing the number suppose 147 and whatever so just random number and if we refresh this again and if we check so in phone table we have another records for student ID 12 so here I am getting the student ID is 12 so now let's try to fetch the record how we can fetch this record so just create another function to fetch a record so I am creating the public function fetch student data and I want to get the student data so I will pass the ID so if you want to get the record for 11 we will pass it here if you want to get for record for 12 we will pass it here so I am creating ID here and let's get a function so suppose I am creating the phone and use the student and I will use the find so find is basically use to find the record so I am passing this ID and I want to fetch the record so suppose phone and I am returning the record dollar phone and we need to create a route for this so we need to use the face twin data here so here I will pass a route suppose the fetch student and my function name is fetch student data fetch student data and here I will use the name that is student dot page and so here you can see this is the ID I'm getting from routes so we need to pass it from here so in a curly braces we need to pass the ID so now if you run this we can see the records for this so suppose I'm going to fetch the record for 11 so we need to pass in URL that is 11 so you can see the record for 11 is that is 987210 whatever so for 11 we are getting so 987654310 if you want to get a record from 12 so just use the 12 so you can see the record is changed so this is all about the Laravel one-to-one -one allocation integrations if you have any queries please comment in below comment section next day we will discuss about eloquent joining for one to main relations please subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video thanks for watching